the lack of adequate water resource in agriculture in arid and semi-arid areas is forcing many farmers to use water with a relatively high salt concentration to irrigate crops. Provision of water needed to feed a growing population and balancing with uh, this with all the other demands on water is one of the greatest challenges in this, of this century. The tensions between supply and demand for water are likely to accentuate it by climate change. In Africa, 80 million hectares is saline sodic or saline sodic, of which the Sahel in West Africa is the most affected. In saline soil, the plants growing there will not be as vigorous as they would be in normal soils. Seeds will germinate poorly, if at all, and the plants will grow slowly or become stunted. If the salinity concentration is high enough, the plants will wilt and die, no matter how much water, uh, how much you water them. So it's very important to determine the soil salinity indicator. And the most important are electrical conductivity, total dissolved solids, sodium adsorption ratio, indicator plant species, and salt crystals and stains in surface soils. Soil information system is a tool that, make, um, that could give us a quick marking of saline soil in a region by the user's uniform methodology for data collection and avoid availability of soil data. So quickly we know the salinity soil problem, better we could correct it. By improving drainage with a deep tillage, for example, by leaching, by adding enough low salt water to soil surface, by reducing evaporation, by applying residue or mulch to the soil, which could help lower evaporation rates, and finally, by chemical treatments, especially by adding gypsum uh, and adding calcium in a soluble form such as gypsum. Thank you for your attention.